Docker, 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 Docker. Hey there, I guess you heard my Docker song. What are we doing today? Docker. We're gonna be testing the M1 MacBook Air versus the Ryzen 7 machine that I have, an AMD Ryzen 7 processor. This happens to be a Lenovo ThinkBook 14 second generation. For the full specs, see the description below. So I've got a little image here that I wanna test and I haven't done this yet, so can't really spoil the surprise this time. I wanna run this Node server image and I wanna run this on both machines. The test that I'm most interested in is the build time. So I'm gonna time it here on the M1 and I'm gonna time it here on the Ryzen 7 and see which one is faster. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's do it. All right, just to get you a little bit familiar with what we're running, I'm gonna open this project up in Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, our Docker file is pretty simple. We're using Node 16. By the way, the project here is identical on both machines. It's gonna be using Node 16. We're gonna be exposing port 8080 and we're gonna be running the server.js command. What does server.js do? simple. It's just an express server that's going to pop up and listen on port 8080. And when you query the root, it's going to respond with hello world node running in process.arch. So it's going to spit out the architecture that it's running on just to verify that we're running on the right architecture. This is especially important on the M1 where you could potentially be running on an x86 or a 64 process, or you could be running on the Apple process or ARM64. Okay, let's kick things off on the M1. Now what I wanna do is run the docker build command and I wanna build the current directory dash T, we'll call this node web app, okay? I also wanna add the time command here at the beginning. What is it? Command A to jump to the beginning? No, control A. <gasps> control A. All right, thanks for those folks that pointed this out in the comments, this really helps me out. Using the terminal on a Mac, if you're just using the arrows to go back and forth a long command line, it takes a while. So control A will jump you to the beginning of the line and I can add the time command easily here. So I wanna time this process and just to make sure, here's my Docker desktop. I don't have any images or containers running at all right now. So that's the starting point. Let's also set it up on this Ryzen 7 machine here. And also on the Ryzen 7, Seven Docker desktop is not running any containers and there's no images here in the system at all. So we got a clean slate here as well. Now, in order to measure the time on Windows, I'm using PowerShell and I'm gonna use the measure command commandlet to get the time. There is no time command on Windows. All right, measure command. And I wanna measure in what's inside the parentheses here. That's gonna be docker build dot dash T node web app. So same exact thing. Now, I don't wanna run these at the same time, even though actually I do wanna run these at the same time, but I shouldn't. And the reason is, as a bunch of you pointed out in previous Docker videos that I've done, right now what's gonna happen is it's going to pull down an image, a Node 16 image, and that's going to be fighting for resources if I run this on both machines at the same time. So I'm gonna run these one at a time, and the time command is gonna help us find the results. All right, so I'm gonna do the M1 first. Enter and off we go. So what it's gonna do is gonna download the Node 16 image and then it's gonna build the project. And it's done. That didn't take long, 21.7 seconds total. Okay, let's do the same thing here on the Lenovo box. I'm gonna hit enter and let's see. Now with measure command, okay, um, two seconds. Somehow I feel that that's not right. I'm not sure what's going on here. I'm gonna have to redo this. It can't be two seconds. Something's up here and I want to fix it. Okay, we do have the image here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove that image. I'm gonna run Docker Builder Prune just to ensure I don't have any of that stuff left over here. Okay, let me try running this again. Measure command Docker Build and let's go. All right, no measure command is going to run and there might be a flag to output this verbosely. If anybody knows the answer to that, let me know in the comments down below, but that's why we don't see any output here. So we'll just get the final printout when it's done. And that's taking a lot longer than two seconds. So I'm guessing my prune command is actually working. That also means that I'm gonna go back to my M1 and do the same thing again over there. So while that's finishing up, I'm gonna head over to my M1 and prune it here as well. All right, so this is done. It's at 48 seconds seconds on the Ryzen. But now I have to go back and do this again on the M1 because I wanna prune everything first, just to make sure there's no cache issues. So I'm gonna remove that image, run Docker Builder Prune, 
Yes, great. Now I'm gonna feel pretty confident that this is going to give me a clean slate build. So let's go. Is this going to beat 48 seconds or not? I don't know. With the cache result, it was 20 something seconds, but now I'm not so sure. Let's see, We're getting close to 20 seconds now. 21 seconds, about the same amount of time that the first run took. So is this over two times faster to build this image on the M1 than on the Ryzen machine? Could be. Now a subsequent build here takes 3.97 seconds. Let's try this over here on the M1. 0.64 seconds. Let's try it again. 0.7 seconds. 0.6 seconds. Okay. Ryzen 7, one second. 1.4, 2.2. So the subsequent builds are about two times faster on the M1 as well. I wanna blow everything away again and just run it one more time for sanity check. Remove the image, Docker Builder Prune, yes. And let's measure this again. There it goes on the Ryzen machine, come on. Come on. Well, you want to hear my Docker song again? I didn't think so. Okay, it's done. 46.8 seconds. So a little bit faster, two seconds faster than the last time. All right, let's do the same thing here again, just to make sure. I'm going to go to Docker desktop on the M1, delete that image. Let's go back here and do Docker Builder Prune. All right. And one more time with the build. Okay, we're about 16, 17 seconds now. And it's done at 20 seconds. So it looks like Docker running on M1 using Apple architecture. So the ARM64 version of Docker is is actually about two times faster, maybe a little bit more than two times faster than running Docker X64 on an AMD Ryzen 7 Lenovo laptop. There you go, folks. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you like these kinds of videos and want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you have a nice day. Stay tuned for more videos with giveaways. Those are coming up shortly. They'll be back, I promise. And I'll see you in the next one.